How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Life Been Easy. And today, guys, I'm gonna be doing a full review of one of my favorite TVs that I picked up a while back. I did a video on it um, a while back in my dorm room, but now I got the full thing hooked up here. So I thought I'd bring you guys an actual full review. Um, this is one of the most popular TVs I've seen on the market right now in terms of budget smart TVs. This is made by a company called Hisense. I'll be going over all the specs about it, all the I.O., my thoughts, subjective thoughts on the picture quality, all the settings you can go through. It's amazing, so let's hop right into it. Okay guys, so I think before we get to the actual TV software itself, I think we should just discuss the remote. So we have the power button, back button, home button, and then the uh, up, down, left, right, okay, directional pad. We have the return key. Uh, this is the sleep sleep mode and then the stars just like the brings up the options or the picture settings once you're in an application um, We have the rewind play pause and fast forward and then we also have dedicated buttons for specific applications. Sorry. I can't say that um, <laughs> Netflix Hulu Voodoo and Sling TV, very compact remote. And also on the side, we have volume up, down, and the mute switch. This is a very compact remote, very functional, and I love it. This is one of the best things about this TV of how easy to use um, the remote is. It's amazing. So as I said, Hisense is the manufacturer. This is a 32 inch diagonal smart Roku TV. Um, the main, I mean, I'm gonna be going over it soon, but the reason I love this TV so much is just the Roku interface on it is just amazing. Absolutely love Roku. Um, it's amazing. It has so many applications. If we're going to go over some I.O., um, here it is. I know it's a little difficult to see, but I'll just go over it here. So we have uh, this the cable line. We have a USB. We have the SPDIF optical audio out. We have three HDMIs. I have one currently plugged into... Um, my Wii U right now, so three HDMI's, and then we also have the, um, uh, what are these, coaxial, uh, plugins that no one uses these days, um, and I think that's about it, I don't see anything else, go over here, and then that's just the power cord that is non-detachable, very thin TV as you can see right here, I also have a TV right behind it, this is an old piece of junk, but, very thin TV. Here are the stands. They are um, stands that are on opposite sides or the edges of the TV, not in the middle. So just keep that in mind when you're purchasing this that you're gonna need a stand that's wide enough to support this TV. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I'm just gonna be going over the overall interface for the TV. I hope the picture quality is okay. I'm recording this on my camera, but. So let me just walk you through the interface of it. Um, really seamless to use. If you haven't used Roku, it's very simple. Um, it says High Sense Roku in the top left, home, it gives you the time. And then, as I said earlier, the options key, you hit the star button on the actual remote. Um, and so that brings up basically extra settings um, for everything you're on. So, any application you want to hit the star button, it'll bring you some more. Um, options like rating, move channel, remove channel, check for updates, give feedback, close. Um, hit the back button to get out of that. So if you, we move over, well this is the main interface here. This shows you everything you need to see. Um, we have all the three HDMI's. Really easy to switch between them. Like I have my uh, Wii U hooked up to one HDMI. If I wanted to switch to another one I could, but that's the only thing I have hooked up here. So so we have Spotify, Net, I mean these are just all my applications. They have a wide store. You can download so many different channels and applications on this TV. It's insane. Um, I don't know the specific number off the top of my head, but it's definitely in the thousands. Um, so we have Netflix, we have movies and TV from Vudu. That was one of the things on the remote. Prime Video, use that all the time. YouTube, use that all the time. Roku channel, they have their own specific channel that you can check out. NFL, ESPN, Disney Plus, use it all the time. MLB, NHL, you, saw, you can also hook up an antenna. Um, if you go buy an antenna at a store or online, you can hook it up to it and you get antenna TV. You also get Sling, that comes with a bunch of free stuff. So what Roku really likes to push with this TV is just the fact that you can use so many different, you can get live, free live TV, free movies from all these different services. Obviously it's not gonna be like the most up-to-date stuff, but it's there if you wanna watch it. So that's the home feature, uh, featured free, which is cool. That's where you can discover all the free entertainment and stuff like that. Free live TV, this is awesome. Go watch whatever you want, all this stuff. 
is free. Highly recommend that. You can get latest news on here, latest breaking news if you want to watch that. Um, as I said, they have live TV here. Go through that. My feed, I don't really use this, but it just shows you your feed, I guess. <laughs> um, you can search for anything. Uh, you can look for streaming channels. They, as I said, they have literally a million of them here. Um, the the list is just endless. I mean, you could look Lego even. Um, and then if you wanted to add it, you would just click it and then click add channel and it would add it to your uh, home screen. So top free movies and TV and get some of this stuff. Um, the, the list is endless guys. And I just want to emphasize that in this video. There's so much cool stuff you can do with this um, TV. Um, the fact that it, I got this for 115 bucks, which is an absolute steal, um, which is like, I'd highly recommend it. Um, network settings to hook it up to Wi-Fi. That's so you can stream stuff. Uh, remote devices, if you want to pair something with this, like a remote or a speaker, uh, you can change the theme. Um, like I have the default one here. I may change it up in the in, in the future, but I do like the default theme. Uh, and you can download several others from uh, the store and stuff like that. Most of them are free. Screen savery, I have the clock. That's if the screen um, like goes out after a certain amount of time. Accessibility, captions, volume, all this stuff. Very easy to use. TV picture settings. Now, if you want to actually adjust the real contrast and all that, you have to be pre uh, present in an application. Um, so right here, you can just adjust the brightness and all that stuff. I just like to leave mine on brighter. It's come in a pretty bright environment here. Uh, shows you your HDMI's and then the antenna TV. Um, fractal controls, if you want to add that, if you want to lock some stuff to your kids, you can do that. Um, home screen, shortcuts, whatever. Payment method, if you want to add that to buy stuff. I don't know, PayPal, credit card, something like that. Privacy, you can do this too. Microphone, channel microphone access, okay. Um, if you need any help. And then system, this is all just a bunch of stuff that you can go through right here. So let's hop into some actual picture settings and I can show you guys what this actually looks like. Okay, so I'm just on YouTube right now just to give you guys a pretty good, accurate representation of how good the color is on this. Um, so as I, uh, actually I don't, I don't think I've said this yet, but this is actually 720p display. It's not actually full 1080p, um, but I will say that the picture quality is excellent on this TV. Sharpness is there. You can adjust all the picture settings to make the picture look even better. They have several color options that you can go through. You can just contrast, saturation, all that kind of stuff to suit it. Um, for your liking whatever you whatever kind of picture you enjoy the most so I'm just gonna play a little uh, 4k footage for you obviously it's not 4k it's gonna be upscaling it um, but yeah let's just take a look and the speakers on this TV are excellent gets insanely loud right having I have it on like 14 volume right now you can go all, all the way up to 100 and the speaker quality is insane on this I have it set to theater mode so let's just get rid of it Okay, so I would I would give you more samples, but um, I don't want to get copyright claimed on this. So if we hit the star button right here, bring up more options. We have the sleep timer on and off. That's if you just want the TV to go to sleep to save uh, power and stuff like that. TV brightness, as I went over earlier. Picture size, just have it set to auto. You can change it to like zoomed or stretched or whatever. Just, uh, just set it to auto so it automatically picks it up. So this is the picture modes I was talking about. I've been on Vivid to boost colors and saturation and contrast. You have it on sports, if you're watching a sports game, normal, just normal. Uh, movie, give it that like warm hue. Um, low power, and then Vivid, that's my favorite right now. Uh, sound mode, you can do theater, you can do big bass, high treble, music, uh, normal, speech, and then back to theater. Audio track, can't even adjust that. And picture settings, if you want to adjust everything like in depth you can um vivid is a preset so i mean you can also reset the vivid settings but i just like to leave it like this i think it does a good job of making the colors pop 
Um, sound settings, if you really want to go into here, you can do that, but uh, I'm not going to. Accessibility, all this stuff, I mean, it's not too useful. Um, and yeah, that's about it uh, for the settings. I guess I'll just show a little more of this. Picture quality on this is insane, honestly. Okay, yeah, so that's going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, I'm going to link this TV in the description down below if I can find the Amazon affiliate link for so you guys go pick this up for yourself. Very awesome TV, very sharp, even with that 720p resolution. It also has a 120 refresh rate, motion refresh rate, which is awesome. Um, tons of streaming services, low Roku, Hisense is a great company. Um, 32 inches is plenty big enough for the room and current environment I'm in. So, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.